everyone, good afternoon. I'm Dr. Alrin Carmelius Arisa, and today I will give you a tips for thorough cleaning. And diyan ko pamuta na sa inyo. Why toothbrush is important? So, dali mga bata. Using a toothbrush with fluoride toothpaste is essential to good oral health. Not only does brushing your teeth help prevent tooth decay, it also helps prevent gum disease, which is one of the leading cause of tooth loss in adults and has been linked to heart attacks and strokes. So, amo na mga bata nun, amo ganun na kailangan mag-toothbrush kita para dili madaot at ang ngipon, sanan ang ato gums para dili muhubag. Kaya amo may kasagaran cause na basta di na mag-toothbrush. So, amo na kung kung dili sab kita bata magkuan mag toothbrush, mabaho ang ato baba sa nan hamok mga kagaw na magstay sa ato baba. Amo na, brushing your teeth also remove tooth stains and avoid bad breath. Proper brushing technique. One should invent proper brushing technique to vanish leftover food particles and polish your teeth. Start brushing at a 45 degree angle to your gums and use short back and forth movement against every area of your teeth. So, ang muna, kailangan kita mag-toothbrush sa isa kadlaw ikatuha. Pag mahuman kita kaon, sanan, kanang before ta, mat, mat, mga tuyog. Kay, kung itong mga pagkaon na nabilin sa tuba ba, ang muna ang mukha cost ng baho, makabad breath kita, then madaot atong ngipon, and amo sa tuon mukos na manghubang ang ato mga gums. Kikilain na ba tuon kung mahubag ato gums, dyan ba pag mahubag na siya, ang ato ngipon muluag, amo na mga tangtang, so kailangan ato siya i-prevent daan. True brushing. Kaya nung toothbrush kita, Enough brushing. Number of people brush frequently, but does da, don't brush enough for their teeth to remain clean and avoid teeth sensitivity. Brushing for at least two minutes twice daily is recommended for healthy teeth. Try listening to short song, two minutes YouTube video, or sit set a timer on your phone to give yourself reminder to thorough clean your teeth. So. Diyan may good iba na mag-toothbrush lamang mga bata na paspason na nila. Dili, tarungo nila kay magdali, magkuan, magtipanaw. So, kailangan nga rin kita na hatagan na ito ng pilar. Gunat 2 minutes, di ba? Para 2 minutes kita, hatagan na ito 2 minutes at ito ngipon at ba, ba na malimpyo sa sida. Gamay na 2 minutes, dali era karadaw na. 2 minutes ra magkuan ta toothbrush. So, kailangan nga doon mag-toothbrush kita. Jari video para at least makasabot kita. Proper toothbrushing involves five things. A soft toothbrush, toothpaste with fluoride, brushing long enough, the correct brushing action, and brushing at least twice a day. You can use a manual or electric toothbrush. Just make sure it has soft bristles. Soft bristles are kinder to your teeth and gums and they make it much easier to remove the plaque below the gum line where gum disease starts. Use a pea-sized amount of toothpaste that contains fluoride. Fluoride strengthens the outer enamel layer of the teeth. It can stop a cavity in its tracks and give you more resistance to future cavities. Make sure your brushing routine lasts long enough to thoroughly remove plaque. We recommend that you brush for at least two minutes. To start, Center your brush on the gum line and angle the bristles at a 45 degree angle. Apply gentle pressure so the bristles slide under the gum line. Gently vibrate the brush while you move it in short, circular, wiggling motions. Brush one or two teeth at a time, then move to the neighboring teeth, allowing some overlap. Use this method to brush the insides and outsides of all the teeth. To brush the backs of the front teeth, Tilt the brush and make several up and down strokes. Then brush the chewing surfaces of the teeth with a gentle back and forth scrubbing motion. End by brushing your tongue and the roof of your mouth. 
This removes germs and keeps your breath fresh. You can use a tongue brush with a special head to do the job or a tongue scraper to remove the odor causing bacteria. When you brush is important too. Brushing after breakfast cleans away the morning's food debris and brushing your teeth before bedtime protects your teeth all night. Follow our advice for better brushing and you'll enjoy a cleaner, fresher, healthier mouth. So, ang ito mga bata, magkuang lutap, tarong kita mag-toothbrush. Kay, sayang mga gula itong ipon, mawaya dahil doon siya. Ma, di, takakaong tarong. Sige, ta, tuwa pagagabi kung magsakita itong ipon, di ba? So, at least, 2 minutes na na required. 2 times a day para lamang malimpyo atong ipon para di ta magtuaw mag amo dun basta toothbrush toothbrush kita then flows i uh, flows properly kaning flows mga bata ko ani ni sida mura gray ni hilo hilo ini sida amo ray ni na hilo ini sida na isuyod sa ato kanang tunga-tunga bitaw ng ipon yan sa tunga-tunga para kaya ang mag toothbrush mo good kita sa hindi jay toothbrush na pag toothbrush na to na dili maabot sa area so pareha na dili mo sila musuyod sa mga in between ng ngipon so kaning floss amoy jay himuon para ang katong mga jay na nabili ng mga lipa ah, hugaw sa itong ngipon iya makuha iya makuha so amoy flossing is important step and most be done appropriately so that when you reach between teeth, you really get to the germs that are stuck there. Remember, the floss should rub against the teeth in movement that makes forward in or in reverse C shape, folding the floss over every teeth. So, dari bata para diya ako video ini para at least masabtang ito nato kung unhun paggamit. People who floss every day are taking a significant step in keeping their teeth clean and healthy. Periodontal disease and many cavities start between the teeth, where the bristles of your brush simply can't reach. That's why flossing is necessary for removing the plaque and bacteria that cause these dental diseases. To begin, pull out 18 inches of floss and wind it around the middle fingers of each hand, leaving about 5 inches in between. Hold the floss between your thumbs and index fingers, leaving about one inch to work with. Gently glide the floss between the teeth using a gentle side-to-side -side motion. Pull the floss tightly in a C-shape around the side of the tooth and slide the floss under the gum line. Move the floss up and down several times to remove all the food and bacteria. Then pull the floss around the neighboring tooth and repeat the process. Wind the floss to a fresh section and gradually work your way around your mouth, cleaning both sides of every tooth. If your gums are infected, they'll bleed when you floss, and that's to be expected if you are just beginning to floss. After a week or so of regular flossing, the bleeding should go away. If you have problems reaching some areas, you may want to use a floss fork or other flossing aids. Tell us if your teeth are too tight to floss or if it catches or tears. This indicates that there may be problems in your mouth that need to be fixed. Let us know if you have any questions about your flossing. We'll be happy to recommend the best floss for you and offer tips for keeping your teeth and gums healthy. So, ang muna mga bata ho, then use a uh, mouthwash. Mouthwash can go where toothbrushes and floss can sew as to free your mouth of similar flotsam and jetsam that distributes that di dis disturbs the gum line and causes gum disease add this mouthwash to your oral consideration routine to get the most intensive clean you can not withstand when you're in hurry so kaning mga bata ang kaning mouthwash kailangan gano din si tasap nato Kaya at least, ini sila ang makuha ni ang katong mga lipa o mga kagaw na nangabilin sa itong ipon na dili maabot ng toothbrush o magfloss. So, ang mga ganoon sila to you, mag-ibang ganoon sila for me. Kailangan pagkuhan mo, hindi o na ka toothbrush, sunod, magfloss, then magmouthwash. Kaya at 
para ang ganing mouthwash man gud maka protect sa bini siya naong pa na protection coating ba coating sanan ka tong mga kagaw na nangabilin mapatay ni dia then jari ako video sab na ipakita sa inyo So, ano na mga bata? Kung magkaon kita candy sa kailangan dili palabian. Buwi dito mo kaon, pero ayaw na palabi. Kailangan pag humanis mo kaon ng candies, maglimugmug ka mo or magtoothbrush. Limugmug ng tubig para ang sugar sa candy dili mo pilit sa atong ngipon. Kaya amo man na isa, isa sa ng madaot ng kuwan tungod sa sugar. Kaya di magiging iba ng mga bata na kapi ka kusumuka ng candy tapos dili sila maglimugmug or magtoothbrush. Then, mga tuyo kaya dahil sila amo na pagkasilom Matingay sila na magsakit na ang ngipon nila. So, ano ganoon yung kalimti na mag-toothbrush kita? Two times a day, then after meal, and before kita mag-sleep para dili magsakit ato ang ngipon. Ha? Oh, ba't na mo ganoon yung kanon? I-remember. And thank you, God bless, and advance, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year. Good morning everyone. Ilabi na sa ato mga estudyante sa nagkalailaing lungsod na sakop ng ato isla na dinagan. Okay, my presentation for today concerns about the history, the signs and symptoms of coronavirus disease 2019. So for the history, scientists first identified a human coronavirus in 1965. It caused a common cold common colds. It is a viral, viral infection of your nose and throat. Later that decade, researchers found a group of similar human and animal viruses and named them after their crown-like appearance. Seven coronaviruses can infect humans. There have been two events since the past two decades where in crossover of animal beta coronaviruses to humans has resulted in severe disease. First such instance was in 2002 to 2003 
with a new coronavirus of the Pita genera and with an origin in bats first over the humans via the intermediary host of palm civet. Uno man in palm civet. It is an omnivore feeding foremost on fruits such as berries and pulpy fruits. It thus helps to maintain tro tropical forest ecosystems via seed dispersal. It eats chico, mango, rambutan, and coffee, but also small mammals and insects. In the Guangdong province of China, so kasagaran amo yon mga bats, amo yon sila an sa kupnan pam si bet. Hamo yon sila na klase, pero ano ato kahibawan an bats ra anay. So in second in 2012, the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus or MERSCO, also of bat origin, emerged in Saudi Arabia with dromedary camels as the intermediate host and affected 2,494 people and caused 858 deaths. Coronaviruses are zoonotic, meaning they are transmitted between animals and people. Coronaviruses are a large family of viruses that cause illness ranging from the common cold to more severe diseases such as Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome or SARS and Middle East Respiratory Syndrome or MERS in 2019. A new coronavirus was identified as the cause of a disease outbreak that originated in China. So the COVID-19 pandemic in Hubei was first manifested by a cluster of a mysterious pneumonia in Wuhan, the provincial capital of Hubei, China. A Wuhan hospital notified the local Center for Disease Control and Prevention and Health Commissions on December 27, 2019. On December 31, Wuhan CDC, or the Disease Center for Disease Control and Prevention, admitted that there was a cluster of unknown pneumonia cases related to Wanan Seafood Wholesale Market after the unverified documents appeared on the internet. The potential disease outbreak soon drew nationwide attention including that of the National Health Commission in Beijing, which sent experts to Wuhan on the following day. On January 8, a new coronavirus was identified as cause of the pneumonia. The sequence of the virus was soon published on an open access database. Measures taken by China have been controversial. They were praised by the World Health Organization for improvements over SARS-CoV-2 responses, but maligned by many and the international community for being slow to publicly disclose key facts or deceptive about the outbreak and for aggressively censoring information relating to the outbreak and public discontent from citizens online. So delayed and controversial response by the Wuhan and Hubei authorities failed to contain the outbreak in the early stage which led to criticism from the public and the media. By January 29, the virus spread to all provinces of mainland China. By February 8, over 724 died from the coronavirus infection, associated pneumonia, and 34,878 were confirmed to be infected. In Hubei alone, there were 24,953 cases of infections and 699 related deaths. All provinces of mainland China initiated the highest response level to the public health emergency. WHO declared the outbreak a public health emergency of the international concern on January 31st for fear that the virus spread beyond China to where there is no robust health care system despite its confidence in China's efforts. So China's Communist Party General Secretary Xi Jinping warned about a grave situation facing China. The party Politburo form a special leading group for epidemic control led by Premier Li Qiqi. The Chinese New Year celebrations were cancelled. The passengers were checked for their temperatures. Commands for epidemic control have been firm in different regions including Wuhan and Hubei. 
many inter-province bus services and railway services have been suspended. By 29, all Hubei cities were quarantined. Corp curfew laws were implemented in Huanggang and Wenzhou and other mainland cities. The region also saw a huge shortage of face masks and other protective gears despite itself being the world's manufacturing hub for these products. With increasing reported cases of infection, fear upgraded along with regional discrimination in China and racial discrimination beyond China, despite calls for stopping the discrimination by many governments, some rumors circulated across Chinese social media along with counter-rumor efforts by media and governments. The virus is now known as the Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus or SARS-CoV-2, while the disease it causes called Coronavirus Disease 2019 or the COVID-19. So, dapat dili kita maglibog sa kung yung mga sa ato kung uman ang COVID-19. So, ang COVID-19, ang mga yung si Jaan, pangayan sa disease. Ang virus na naghimo sa jaon na disease, ang mga tawag Ang tawag amuan, SARS-CoV-2. So the COVID-19 epidemic was declared by the World Health Organization as a public health emergency of international concern on January 30, 2020. The Director General of the World Health Organization, Dr. Tidros Adhano Gibriesos, announced on March 11, 2020, that the new coronavirus disease 2019 or the COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. Describing the situation as a pandemic means that the epidemic has spread to several countries, continents, or throughout the world, and that it affects large number of people. So now we're going to discuss the causes of the COVID-19. So, infection with the new coronavirus SARS-CoV-2 causes COVID-19. The virus that causes COVID-19 spreads easily among people and more continues to be discovered over time about how it spreads. Data has shown that it spreads mainly from person to person among those in close contact within about less than 2 meters. Amo jaon betaw ang raso na dapat may social distancing kita. Kaysa una, kung naanad kita na magbiso-biso pa, kung dito mga friends, mga kilaya, na ikita, o kira, so kuman, bawal na anay. Pwede na siguro dyan, um, pa dyan, sa Japanese ba dyan, dyan mag, mag bow, bow na kan anay, laong, or mag-wave kita sa ato mga kilaya, laong na kan anay. So the virus spreads by respiratory droplets released when someone with the virus coughs, sneezes, breathes, sings, or talks. So, di ba kuman, tagbawal kuman, kabalita ba kita sa TV, tagbawal ang pagpalit anay ng mga turutot, mga laong, no? So, kung ginahan kita ng Jai Saba, pwede rin mga kaldiro anay na ito, panpingkion, laong rakan anay. Kaya kung magturutot kita, labi na sa mga bata, di ba kay magpuli-puli man dyan sila ng ilang mga turutot? So, ang laway ng isa, mabilin dito sa turutot, tapos busla ng isa, so magtapunta po na sila. Kaya tungod ang virus, at doon naman dito, nipikit naman tungod sa mga droplets. So, ang iban, bawal sa anay ang video key. Mm -mm. So, amo dyan to si Ja. These droplets can be inhaled or land in the mouth, nose or eyes of a person nearby. In some situations, the COVID virus can spread by a person being exposed to small droplets or air cells that stay in the air for several minutes or hours. It is called airborne transmission. Amo dyan bito si Jaan tag-tagstadihan sa kuman pero it's not yet known how common it is for the virus to spread this way. So, why pag ito dyan si Ja na gamit ka sa kuman na amo ba kaya gadyan rason? So, tag-studyhan pa dyan hantod kuman. It can also spread if the person touches the surface or, or object with a virus on it and then touches his, her mouth, nose, or eyes. So, although this is not considered to be a main way of it spreads, but still, kinahanglan gihapon na ito mag-disinfect because prevention is better than cure man, no? 
Di ba kay Joy isa haya ni ban tag sipon tapos pag hatching nila Uy ako ka ba yuy asad ka kabantay na kintahay pag open ni Diyo sa pertahan na binyo sa pertahan gini dya ni dya kamot gikan sa ija ilong sa ija ba ba nipilit dito ang mga laway tapos open si dya ng pertahan ikaw sa nagsunod so ni transfer na sa imo so dapat dya ato mga alcohol ka na daya daya no or pinaka the best ka dyan manhinaw hand washing ka kita for me so for the signs and symptoms these are the frequently reported signs and symptoms of patients. Um, mga early signs ini sila. So the first one is high fever. High fever, the body temperature can exceed 37.3 degrees Celsius. Kaya nato normal body temp ranges from 36.5 to 37.2 degrees Celsius man. So beyond 30 7.3, so amo na dyan sa taas na ang fever. No, so dapat di ba dyan yato kaugalingon tag, sa tagsa na mga thermometer. So pag mahibayo kita, nan, amo na ba dyan yung taas na si dyan, so mag, um, magbantay na kita, no? Na basin dyan yung ato simptomas kuman sa COVID-19. Tapos tiredness, in which the body feels completely tired and without energy to perform normal tasks. Kung sa una... Dili kita dali ka po dyan, ganahan kita maghingas. Tapos kuman, kalitra lamang na bagan, kalo dyan na ba? Hey, bagan, ano ba? Uy, may ako gano'ng magtrabaho, laong, no? So bagan, ma nakamatikod kita na bagan, lahi naman ini. So banta dyan na to dyan si dyan. Third is dry cough. Irritation and constant coughing without expelling any mucus. Amo dyan si dyan ang taglaong na. Grabe ka gilok, ano mo tilaok, pero... Pag ubo ni Muwe, mugawas na plema. So, amo dyan ang dry cup. Diba? Grabe dyan ang kagilog sa tilao. Magbantay kita dyan. And the fourth one is loss of taste or smell. Oo. Kasagaran ko man nagpasitil sa COVID. Amo dyan ang kasagaran nila reklamo na mawadan ng kuno sila ng panlasa. Tingaya ka na sila ilang paborito na pagkaon. Umara, puan na sila na bagan. Uy, may lamig ko no. Laong. So, magbantay kita dyan. Kaya amo dyan mga early signs na COVID-19. So, the severity of COVID-19 symptoms can range from very mild to severe. Some people may have only few symptoms and some may have no symptoms at all. Amo dyan, dili kita magkumpiyansa ka dyan yung mga iba na asymptomatic. Pwede ko nung tagbati. Nung halilaan ko ba? Pero pag kuhaan na to ng test, mag-positive sila. No? Kay kalawang manato na way ila nag-iila. Kay way may ila way may sila tag- labda na uyo, yaman sila ay at mga symptoms na ako tagtuko do, ay may ilan na pilan dyan. Kaya yung incubation period ng dyan virus is 2 to 14 days. This the time after exposure and before having symptoms. So, kintahay for example, naging halubilo ko na dyan itong nagpositive na kintahay ni Agi na Adlao. So, after 2 days, so yun sa 2 days hanto sa ika 14 days ng dyan, magpanidan yung may mulawas kung May mga symptoms bakaw na na feel na yung ingana. Pero kung waya man gani, mas marajaw, no? Labi na kung magpakuha sa kita ng aton mga test. Tapos mag-negative kita. Pero sa kumana panahon, di ay lamang kita magkumpiyansa. Kay malisod na gajun. We treat uh, everyone as kuan. Ano pa iton? Diyan ay mga sakit, laong. Mm -mm. So... Amura at to, tana, joy ato na katunan, kumanaadlaw, no? Tapos gamito na to para sa ato panadaw adlaw na pantrabaho on or pwede sa na to i-share sa iban na amoy na ako na katunan basin ma, para sa mahibayo sila, no? Para aware sila. Okay, sige. Amura at to. And thank you. morning everyone, especially sa mga estudyante na ito din sa DepEd Dinagat Islands na matematik kuman. So my topic is ways on how to protect ourselves from COVID-19. COVID-19 spreads easily from person to person mainly by the following routes. Between people who are in close contact with one another, 
within 6 feet through respiratory droplets produced when an infected person coughs, sneezes, breathes, sings, or talks. Respiratory droplets cause infection when they are inhaled or deposited on mucous membranes, such as those that lines inside of the nose and mouth. So the first protection is wash your hands often. Practicing good hygiene is an important habit that helps prevent the spread of COVID-19. So wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds, especially after you have been in a public place or after blowing your nose, coughing, or sneezing. It is important especially to wash before eating or preparing food, before touching your face, after using the restroom, after leaving a public place, after blowing your nose, coughing or sneezing, after handling your mask, after changing the diaper, after caring for someone who is sick, after touching animals or pets. If soap and water are not readily available, use a hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol. Cover all surfaces of your hands with a sanitizer and rub them together until they feel dry. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth with unwashed hand. Second, avoid close contact. Since close person-to-person -person contact appears to, the, to be the main source of transmission, social distancing remains a key way to mitigate spread. The DOH recommends maintaining a distance of approximately 6 feet from others in public places. This distance will help you avoid direct contact with respiratory droplets produced by coughing or sneezing. Inside your home, avoid close contact with people who are sick. So, kung sa ato ba yay, joy tag-ubo, tag-sip on, tag-hilantan, ato gadyo anay sila i-separate or i-isolate. At to na sila sa room, lainanda sila ng pagkaon, lain ang gamit nila na plato, kutsara, tinidor, baso, ipasibol, kung duha na ito CR, lain ang ila CR. Kita na okay, marajaw na lawas, magmas kita para dili kita matakdan. Sila sad sa ilayong adura sa kwarto para dili sila makatakot. Dili anay kita makihalubilo sa may masakitun or sila dili nato pagawaso na makikistorya sa ato para malikay nato na ang magtakot-takot ang sakit kaya ang virus dali na si Jamu takot. Outside your home, put 6 feet of distance between yourself and people who don't live in your household. In addition, Studies have found that outdoor settings with enough space to distance and good ventilation will reduce risk of exposure. There is up to 80% less transmission of the virus happening outdoors versus indoors. So, kung sa gawas, dapat gajud kung sa gawas social distancing, sana mas gana kung open an area. Kung open an area, dili gajud lang pa ang virus, basta-basta makakuhan sa ato, makatuol kung gana ang ventilation, kahit kusog man ang hangin. Pero kung dyan kita sa isa karoon ang venue, dapat dili kita magamit ng aircon. Ka ang virus, maglibot-libot ra, so dako ang chance na makatakod si Ja. So dapat kung dyan kita sa isa ka area na close, and kuan, and close na area, Dapat open and at windows, open and doors, para ang hangin makalahos-lahos. Next is, cover your mouth and nose with a mask when around others. Mask help prevent you from getting or spreading the virus. You could spread COVID-19 to others even if you do not feel sick. So, 
Ang intog lang asymptomatic, dili tanan positive, joy tagbati. Hamuksan positive sa COVID-19, huwag huwag ila tagbati, huwag sila tagubo, huwag sila tagsipon, huwag sila taghilantan, huwag sila maglisod paginhawa, pero joy virus sa ila lawas. Ang ujong taglong tas ang ila resistensya na huwag ila tagbati, na fight nila ang sakit, na huwag ay ila tagbati. So dapat ganoon importante na magmas kita, kay huwag ay kita kabayunan, imo ka atubang, pasitiba dyan dyan si dyan sa virus, pero huwag ay ray tagbati. So ang dyan dyan tagbati, ang mo dyan tagtawag na symptomatic, dyan ila tag symptoms na tagbati. So everyone should wear a mask in public settings and when around people, who don't live in your household. Especially when other social distancing measures are difficult to maintain. So number four, cover coughs and sneeze. Always cover your mouth and nose with a tissue when you cough or sneeze or use the inside of your elbow and do not spit. So, dapat kung mag-ubo kita, i-cover ka dyan nato ang atong mouth or kung mag-absing, i-cover nato ang atong kuhan ilong para ang virus na maglupad-lupad, dili dyan si Jam makatakot. Also, kung magluda kita, dapat ikuan nato sa tissue. Ibutang nato si Jam sa tissue, pagkahuman, ilabak nato sa trash can proper na trash can na ito si Jay ibutang. Dili kong basta-basta ayon na lamang na ito ibutang kay makatakot. Tapos, after that, kung nag nagamit magandun natin na ito kamot, immediately wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. So, kung may tubig na available, dapat siya yung dito daya na alcohol or hand sanitizer, magamit kita per me. Then, clean and disinfect. Clean and disinfect, frequently touch surfaces daily. If surfaces are dirty, blend them. So, dyan mga kasagaran na ito, may kasagaran na ito matouch. Example, doorknobs, chairs, tables, dapat kadaan lo daw na ito limpyuhan. Pwede na isipihan na ito ng alcohol or tapuhan ng alcohol para mapatay ang virus na mupikit diha. Kung ang sasayuksad, pwede kita magamit na ito. Chlorine, sagula na ito ang panmap gani. Sagura na ito ng chlorine or John Brooks. Ang may ato gamitong pagmap para mapatay sad and virus na dyan sa sayog. Daya ng mga sa sapato, sa chinilas, mga ginidaan. Dapat practice na ito yung kadaad law para malika dyan na ito ang ini na pandemic na virus. Number six, monitor your health daily. So be alert for symptoms. Watch for fever, cough, shortness of breath, or other symptoms of COVID-19. So, dapat alert po kita kung una yung mga symptoms. Inin mga symptoms na COVID-19, kung sa una pa na panahon, tagtawag rin natin inin ang tangkaso. Di ba ang tangkaso? Ubo, sipon, hilanat, amuin yung kasagara, sukuman, COVID-19, inasidyan ng mga symptoms. So, dapat alert kita inin ang mga symptoms. Dapat sad sa ato, bayay joy ato, thermometer para monitor na ito ang ato temperature. So, bawal sa daw kita magkuha ng thermometer within 30 minutes of exercising. So, kung hindi ka nag-exercise, ayaw pa kuha ng temperature kay taas ang kuha dyan kay pasok pa man imulawas. So, dapat nakarelax ka o adesir ka magkuha ng temperature para sakto ang kuha ni mo. So, nang dapat ibayo kita kung pilay normal range ng thermometer ng temperature sa ato lawas. So, 36.5 to 37.2 normal dyan si Jia. Pagkuha na ito normal. Waya ito sila na. So, beyond that, or kung taas na gani, 37.5 pa taas, ang muna dyan ang tagtawag na fever. So, febral dyan niya ito hilanat. So, dapat mahibayo kita mukuan kung muna hilanat. Then, what can I do? If I am or may be ill with COVID-19. So, kung dyan ko na'y ato symptoms, o may ato ang ay himuon. So, if you develop symptoms or you've been exposed to COVID-19 virus, kung na-exposed na ko or dyan mo symptoms, 
contact your doctor or meet for medical advice. So, sa ato settings, RHU. Joy Kadabar yun ang assign na nurse or BHW. Pwede na siya contact kun kay para sila mo refer sa doktor na dia tagbati. Kaya sa kuma na panahon, bawal kita bukan to sa center kay tagbilian face to face. So sila kung dia tagbati, sila mo na sa ato bayay, i-assess kita kung buni ato tagbati. So take the following precautions to avoid spreading the COVID-19 virus. Stay home from work, school and public areas. Avoid public transportation and ride sharing. So, bawal tayo ay magsakay-sakay, magmotor-motor kung diyan ito tagbati. Wear a cloth face mask around other people. Isolate yourself as much as possible from others in your home. Use a separate bedroom and bathroom if possible. Avoid sharing dishes, glasses, paintings, and other household items. So, dapat lain lang at yun ang imugamit ko siya yung tagbati para malika dyan na makatakot ka. So, what can I do to avoid becoming ill? So, may ato buhatong para dili kita masakit, dili kita matakdan. So, the best way to prevent illness is to avoid being exposed to COVID-19 virus. So, ang the best way kung nyo dyan, dili ka dyan kita ma-exposed sa virus. So, inihan ato himuon. Keep at least 6 feet of distance between yourself and people outside your household. Wash your hands. Wear a mask in public places. Cover your mouth and nose with your elbow or a tissue when you cough or sneeze. Then throw away the used tissue. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. Then clean and disinfect surfaces you open touch on a daily basis. Lastly, consume healthy foods. Stay hydrated. Get enough sleep and rest. And boost your immune system. So consume healthy foods. So dapat daw na ito inipagkaan kasagaran, rutas ganyan sa langgulay. Kaya para healthy and at ulawas, makafight kita sa sakit. Stay hydrated. Drink 1.5 liters of water or more daily or 8 to 10 glasses a day. Dapat amod yun na ito imnon para hydrated kita, dili kita dali maludya. Then get in a press or sleep. Dapat at ma-achieve na ito ang 7 to 8 hours of sleep daily. Dili kita mag paoy-paoy or mag-bilar, especially ang mga batan kung kuman. Dili ka dito taan ay mag-bilar-bilar para dili ang ato lawas, masakit. Kaya kung sige kita nag-bilar, dali na kita masakit. So kung maluwar na ito yung immune system, dali kita matakda ng virus. Then boost your immune system. Exercise for 15 minutes or more daily. So, mag-exercise kuno kita. So, kung di kita makagawas, kaya dyan na kita sa bayay, hamok pwede na tumahin mo na exercise. Pwede kita mag-zumba, pwede kita mag-exercise, mag-uno bang kita stretching, or pwede na gato kita mag-trabaho sa ato bayay, mag-lampaso, mag-laba, mag-silig, na mahuyasan kita. Importante, mahuyasan kita kay para it is a way of exercising. Para mag-boost and at immune system sana, take vitamin C. Vitamin C para strong ang ato lawas, strong ang ato immune system. So, ang mga tutanan ang ato himuon para makalikay kita sa COVID-19. So, thank you for listening. Tana dyan ay dyan makuha sa ato lecture na ma-apply ni dyan sa kuman na pandemic. Advance Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year to all. Mabuhay ang dinagat mo. Hi everyone, I am Eric Olasivan, Information Technology Officer 1 of the Schools Division Office of Dinagat Islands. My topic is about cyber literacy and safety. Technology is changing the way we live, work, and learn. The lines between our online and offline worlds continue to merge and blur. This is exciting. It means students can be more empowered than ever before to connect, create, grow, 
and make the world a better place. Of course, as our world becomes increasingly digital, our challenges, rights, and responsibilities are changing too. Teaching students about digital citizenship and internet safety is more important than ever. Because we are now using technology differently and more immersively, there are many important concepts that need to be explored. These concepts are defined as coming under the umbrella of digital citizenship. What is digital citizenship? Digital citizenship is the norms of appropriate, responsible behavior with regards to technology use. Digital citizens are learners who use their technology-driven powers conscientiously and with empathy to help make the world a better place. Digital citizenship is simply described as the responsible use of technology to learn, create, and participate. A good digital citizen is similar to being a good citizen in general, just with the addition of technology. Internet safety. Computers are wonderful learning tools, but they can also expose children to dangers like unwanted content and inappropriate contact from adults through the internet. Parents and educators can limit the danger and help children learn to navigate the internet safely. By protecting their personal information and being cautious about what they view. Adults must set rules and boundaries. Know what your kids are doing. Talk to them about the dangers. A federal law, the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, or COPA, was created to help protect kids online. It's designed to keep anyone from obtaining child's personal information without a parent knowing about it and agreeing to it first. COPA requires websites to explain their privacy policies on the site and get parental consent before collecting or using a child's personal information, such as a name, address, phone number, or social security number. The law also prohibits a site from requiring a child to provide more personal information than necessary to play a game or participate in a contest. But even with this law, children's best online protection are their parents. By talking to them about potential online dangers and monitoring their computer use, you'll help them serve the internet safely. Thanks for watching. Hello everyone, my name is Rhea Angeli Polito. You can call me Angie for short. Um, today, I am going to share with you a presentation. Um, my topic is all about young leadership. So today, after my presentation, we are going to learn the following. Um, what is a leader? Role of a leader? Importance of youth leadership? 10 Characteristics of a Leader and 10 Tips to Enhance Your Leadership Skill as a Student and lastly, Who Can Be a Leader? So after uh, my presentation, uh, you are expected to learn these. Alright, so let's start. What is a leader? So what do you think is a leader? Start with this picture. Look at the picture. Who do you think is the leader? So of course, it's the person who is in front and who is holding uh, the flag. 
Okay, so um, according to Miriam Webster, um, a leader is a person who leads. So and uh, this man right here is the person who leads the group. So he is the leader. Let's go here. A leader is someone who can see how things can be improved and who rallies people to move toward that better version. So a leader or leaders can work toward making their vision a reality while putting people first. So um, just being able to motivate people isn't enough. So leaders need to be empathetic and connect with people to be successful. So that is a leader. Now, what is the role of a leader? So what do you think is the role of a leader? So leaders provide direction. Leaders' most important role is to provide clear and compelling direction. And leaders create structure. So it's their role to um, polish, liberate, and enable the gifts that people bring to the group. Also, leaders build trust. So, best leaders make it clear that they have confidence that their followers know what to do, how to do it, and that they will do their best work. And leaders inspire hope. So, effective leaders, they are optimistic, they're hopeful, they give, uh, they give hopes to their members by um, by the power of words of encouragement. Those are the roles of a leader. Next is the importance of youth leadership. So, youth leadership is very important because um, it's for the betterment of the country. It's for the future of the community and the country. So, without our youth, without our young ones, or our youth leadership, there will never be the next leaders in line. And there will be no one to pass on the torch of the community. So, ika nga ni Dr. Serizal, ang kabataan ang pag-asa ng bayan. That's the importance of youth leadership or young leadership. Let's move on to the 10 characteristics of a leader. So, what do you think are the 10 characteristics of a leader? A leader is a goal-oriented person. So, they are focused, focused on reaching a specific goal. They're driven by that purpose. So you, what are your goals? Next, they're honest. So, since they're honest, they are trustworthy, sincere, and loyal persons. So unlike Pinocchio, they are truthful in their words. Third, they are hardworking. They are those people who are diligent and industrious even though the work is um, habitual or routine. So, because they know that nothing worth having comes easy. And fourth, um, a leader is willing to serve others. So, just like, um, just like this kid in the picture. So, they're helpful, they're selfless, uh, they're someone who is willing to serve the, the public or the other people. Fifth, they are good listeners. They're uh, those who are attentive ones, uh, those who knows how to engage with other people, and those who knows to um, who knows to how to li listen to people's concerns. Six, they are good communicator. So, they know uh, they know how to express their um, ideas to other people or their thoughts. And seventh, they are good decision maker. So not just good, 
but they make wise decisions. Eight, um, they believe in the power of encouragement or words of encouragement. They give uh, others hope by those words of encouragement. Just like in this picture, you are amazing, you are brave, you are strong. Um, those are words of encouragement. So they make other people feel more confident. Ninth, um, they're positive people. So they are blissful, they're optimistic, they're full of hope and confidence, and they share this hope and confidence to their members. And lastly, um, leaders are responsible people. So they know that they're accountable or they can be accountable. And they know that they are holding specific duty or trust. So those are the 10 characteristics of a leader. And now let's move on to the 10 tips to enhance your leadership skill as a student or as a young learner. So first, establish your goals. So establish your goals by um, writing it down or making a vision board to set your direction. And keep a check of every goal so you can track your goals. Um, so which one you achieved or missed and reward also or improvise yourself accordingly. To your goals, set them, be them, and reach them. Second is to demonstrate uh, discipline. So, by always meeting deadlines. So, master your mindset. So, like, um, start small if you are naturally unorganized. So, you can start small like waking up early or setting and following your daily routine. So, those things. Third, uh, develop situational awareness. So, anticipate any problems before they occur. So, think first. So, you can have time to uh, think for alternative plans if ever um, your plans will not work. Fourth, keep trying to learn new things. Trying new things can polish your skills and enriches your mind. So keep open-minded. Be a good listener and keep open-minded. So remain open to any ideas, suggestions, and feedback. So as a leader, you need to understand that effective listening is not only about verbal communication but also about um, picking up on nonverbal cues like eye contact and body language. Sixth, take on more um, projects in school and try to lead them. So, small projects, group projects, this might help you um, boost your confidence. So, this helps you identify how to delegate, help associates or your groupmates. Stay on task and resolve um, differences. Seventh, engage yourself in volunteering. So just like in the picture, um, small groups like um, joining Girl Scout, Cub Scout, Boy Scout, or engaging to small um, programs like um, community service, coastal cleanups. Those things. So this may expand your skill set. Eighth, um, try to inspire and motivate others, even in a very small ways. So offer assistance and reassurance to your members, your friends. Ninth, transform me to we. So instead of just Involving yourself, try to use the word we. So, uh, program your team's best interests in mind rather than your own. Make them feel that you are really into the group. And then, um, be a people's person. So, 
be approachable, open-minded, and friendly. Now, who can be a leader? Who do you think can be a leader? So, let's see. So, you can be a leader. I can be a leader. Anybody can be a leader. Yes, you can. So, even uh, the quiet kid who barely speaks in class can be a leader. In fact, um, at some point in our lives, um, everyone will be called upon to lead uh, in some capacity. So, yes, anybody can be a leader. So, final remarks in my presentation. Note that uh, successful leadership is a skill. It's a skill that can be learned, practiced, and improved upon. Anybody can be a leader. And uh, always remember that ang kabataan ang pag-asa ng bayan. By Dr. Jose Rizal. Okay, so lastly, I want you to assess yourself. Am I an effective leader? So, check as many as you can. Um, check if you have these characteristics with you. So, if you got 7 out of 10, then yes, you are an effective leader leader so that's all for today um i hope you have learned something today if you have questions clarifications you may ask me and i guess that's all so thank you for listening guys bye have a great one Good day to all of you. It's been a pleasure being invited here as one of your resource speakers. Our topic today is all about social media etiquette and online safety tips. So, to start with, what do you think about social media? Social media means interactions among people in which they create, share, and or exchange information and ideas in virtual communities and networks. Social media used to keep in touch with friends and extended family. There are different types of social media. Social networks like Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, media sharing networks like Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube, discussion forums like Reddit, Quora, Tweet, and bookmarking and content curation networks like Pinterest, Flipboard. Consumer review networks like TripAdvisor, Zomato, if you're familiar with that. Blogging and publishing networks like WordPress, Tumblr, Medium. Social shopping networks like Shopee, Lazada, Zalora, and Amazon. So, there are etiquette tips that we use to observe. What are these etiquette tips? Tips. Communicate respectfully. How do we communicate respectfully? Be polite, be respectful, and professional. Address others by name or appropriate title and be mindful of your tone. Don't share personal info. Never share your phone name, home address, phone number, passwords, names and family members because of privacy visa if you give your personal identity pwede na nila steal or pwede na nila gamitin sa mga pinuang you should keep your privacy and nobody can touch your account don't give your password to anyone your home address ay pwede ka nila ang haon pangawatan ng mga butang sa mga balay phone number pwede ka nila scam and then names and your family member next is think before you post don't post things when you are angry be very selective of what you upload online remember everything you post online is public meaning to say you think before
you post, think first a thousand times before you click. If you are giving a uh, positive ideas, then it's okay. And if you think dili maayo ang mga post, then you know. Is it necessary? Is it inspiring? Is it helpful? Is it kind? Or is it hurtful to someone? Then I will post. Okay. Be very selective of what you upload on. Next, don't be a bully. Don't be hurtful towards others. Exercise the golden rule. So, next, shop on secure sites. Make sure the website is secured. Research retailers online to make sure they're legitimate. Do not use all caps when you're emailing or posting something. All caps is form of internet shopping. So these are the summary of internet etiquette tips. Communicate respectfully. Don't share personal info. Think before you post. Don't be a bully. Shop on secure sites. Do not use all caps. So, did you experience online class interaction with the teacher via Google Meet and Zoom? These are the Google Meet etiquette. Be on time, get organized, be prepared, charge your technology. We are going to present, check your surroundings first. Can we see you? Dress appropriately. Mute yourself, mute your mic when you are not talking. Kayo mo sa nakapag-distract ka sa on uh, speaker participation be focused be attentive be an active participant so the same with zoom video conferencing student guidelines check sound and video make sure an adult is present find a quiet place come prepared be on time use a simple background mute microphone when not speaking raise your hand to participate be respectful Follow the agreements of the group. And then these are these are the online safety tips. Keep your personal information top secret. Ask your parents before giving out your name, address, or any other personal information online. Don't open messages from people you don't know. Never meet anyone in person you've only met online. Don't accept this special offers or deals that seem too good to be true. Talk to your parents if you feel uncomfortable with that you see on the internet. Be careful who you trust online. If you don't know the person in real life, then ask the parent before you become friends. Don't talk to strangers. Don't get into chat rooms. So here's some bonus tips. Some time on how long you're on the computer, uh, sit time on how long you're on the computer and other gadgets you use. Maintain an appropriate balance between computer and you, computer use and face-to-face -face interaction. So these are my references. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something about social media etiquette and online services. Bye! My respect to our school's division superintendent, Dr. Felesa Laranjo, to our assistant school's division superintendent, ESDS Leonie V. Selvosa, to my partner chief, Lopi Papiliras, to the prime mover of this webinar, Mrs. Nieva Lucille Diaz and Ms. Karen Dador. To all the speakers of this webinar, to the S SG and SPG officers, students, pupils, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. First, I would like to congratulate Ms. Nieva Diaz and Ms. Karen Dador for the success of this webinar. They are the prime mover, the initiator of this webinar. Congratulations, Nieva and Karen. And thank you to all the speakers. 
for, for the knowledge that you have shared, your skills that you have shared to all the students, pupils, and the officers of this division. Thank you so much. And also to all the uh, SSG and SPG officers, students and pupils, congratulations for uh, having completed this webinar. You know, the knowledge that you have gained in this training is really important for all of you because they are but the foundation your foundation to make you strong to make you fight against these trials of pandemic as student of the division of the Nagat Islands you see you know about the history of COVID already. It's facts and myths, you see. You have heard about the health protocols of COVID-19, the oral hygiene in, in terms of, or in times of pandemic, the mental health and the psychosocial support. All these are very much important in order to fight to win this pandemic. So you are now equipped, no? Equipped with all this knowledge so that you will be able to counteract whatever you will feel at the midst of this trial as a student, as a pupil. You already learned also about the cyber literacy and safety, the online safety tips and cyber etiquette because you are so exposed with cyber already, cyber literacy. So we cannot just use internet. You cannot ju just view anything in the internet. You've got to know its etiquette. You've got to know its safety. No? As young adults, you've got to, to, to be uh, to be uh, to learn to know what is best what is the safety in in using all these things you cannot just enjoy whatever you want view whatever you want but there are do's and don'ts no for your safety not only today but also in the future so you have also learned about leadership skills for young adults so you are so lucky to hear about all these topics you see your leadership skills you are already uh, acquainted with the tips you no know, to become a leader so you are shaped to become a leader a good leader in the future good leaders in the future because according to Dr. Rosirisal, the youths of today are the hope of our fatherland. So you see, if you are equipped with this foundation, you will become a, a very good leader in the future, a very good person in the future, and you will succeed through all the trials in the future. Because if you will uh, be victorious in this COVID-19 pandemic the more you will be victorious in whatever trials you will meet in the future so all the things that you have learned in this webinar put it not only in your head but also in your heart and implement this in your at home in your environment in school or wherever you are at home you have to apply all these learnings you know, so that you will become a better filipino with a better future
Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. Keep safe, God bless, and Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.